I actually teach uh, what's called considered a sheltered English class for English language learners who are new to English. I myself am an Im I'm an immigrant, so um, I came from Jamaica. Um, gosh, I don't know, 30 years ago, and I've been living in the U.S. for 30 years, so I'm, I'm a U.S. citizen, and so I'm American, too, so I feel like I'm a Jamaican-American, I'm an immigrant, and I feel like I can connect with my students in that way. Other people, very good. Your choices are good. Then my nephew. And so I can kind of be in their shoes a little bit, and I think that building relationships for me maybe are a little bit easier because of that. What I've learned in life is that you always get surprises um, and students surprise you in many different ways. You know, I've, I've dealt with refugee students who have come to this country and they have just totally blossomed. And I think that my reward comes when I see students like, I don't know, maybe in 10 years, they're married, they have jobs, they have kids, and they're fluently speaking English. That's just, that's my reward. Generally, I don't like to be recognized in the sense that I don't like to be in the limelight. That's kind of my personality. But I also felt humbled. And so I've been doing a lot of reflecting on what does it mean to be, you know, the teacher of the year. And it, it can mean so many different things. If a student can be successful in terms of becoming a part of a bigger picture and being able to contribute to that bigger picture, then I think that's teacher of the year.